Hi everybody and welcome to another Your Creative Studio monthly unboxing. This box is October's box and I'm really excited because when I opened it up I saw the monthly theme very clearly staring me in the face and it is a music theme and the first thing obviously that I noticed was the theme but I also noticed that she made her um, little card here a usable piece of ephemera by using the just the uh, definition of music and this can be used now in my kit rather than it just being like a thank you card it's now a usable piece of ephemera which I super appreciate so let's go ahead and pull it out as we do every month and I love this paper that she's using now I also use it oh my goodness okay make sure I am in frame here okay so the first thing I see here is this fun roll of tape so let's just go ahead and open this up and you know what it looks very similar to the classic -y number tape though the brand is definitely not classic -y. it's the same exact thing and the adhesive feels pretty good as well. And let me show you what I mean, because I have some right here, except it's the brown, and it opens in the opposite direction. But you guys can see the similarities there. I hope you guys can anyway. Look at that. So how fun is that? You guys get to have a similar brand without paying six dollars for a roll because this stuff can get pretty expensive and I love that it's red because I don't have the red obviously I have the brown so that is exciting all right let's see what do we have next we have a sticky notepad with an Edison bulb, which I can truly appreciate because I have Edison bulbs all over my house. So this is really cool. Next, we have the exclusive Your Creative Studio sticker sheet. And I always love these stickers. They're always really great quality and I love the designs. But there's quite a few on this month's kit. So we've got plenty of music notes with um, ephemera in the background and I absolutely love them and there's some numbers here which I'm going to be using to date some journal pages so I love 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 these I always use those so much all right next we have an entire pack here of wow this is thick okay so Oh, and it's all different designs. We've got an entire pack of music themed paper. Ooh, there's some Christmas. Oh, these are cool. And there's a bunch of each page. This is so cool. I love the illustrations on these. Another Christmas one. You guys know I'm already thinking about Christmas. This is really cool. Plenty to share. That's what I love about this kit. Is that there's, I mean, look how thick this is. There's plenty to share here. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five sheets of each design. Love that. Okay, love the ferns on this. This is a little tiny little notebook. Ooh, with what feels like um, craft onion skin paper. Oh, I love this. I don't know if you guys can hear this. But I love this. Ooh, I'm going to use this for all the things. <laughs> Uh, I never use these as like little notebooks. I just use the paper out of them. And especially this one being like a thin, crinkly sounding onion skin paper. This is going to be really great. All right. Next we have another 
little book thing here and looks like oh I just ripped this sheet out is it a washi sticker oh yeah they already are pre-cut so you don't even have to fussy cut these out so here's this one and of course I ripped out the design this is fun oh, there's a bunch in here and it doesn't look like they repeat Ooh, very Victorian you guys know I love Victorian anything, so this is nice. I think this goes along with the Edison Bob very well. <laughs> very well placed. I love that they're already pre-cut. I was worried when I first saw this that we were going to have to fussy cut each design out, but they are pre-cut, which I really, really like. Oh, and here's some, a full sheet. Oh, and some big, big ones too. Oh, I love this. This is really cool. This is one of the coolest things I think we have gotten because there's so much in there. Okay. Next is this little teeny tiny, oh my god, it's a tiny little letter opener. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you guys know I have to test this like immediately. Look at that. I love that it's hooked. I cannot tell you how often I have asked my husband for a letter opener in the car when I want to open thing, when I want to open mail in the car where we're on the go. And he usually always carries a little pocket knife, but not recently. So having one of my own, especially for letter opening, is going to be great. I love this. This is such an odd, but like useful item. This is just not something I ever expected to see, and I love it. All right, looks like we have another cling stamp here with some music. We've got Ode to Joy, which is one of my favorite songs. So that's really nice. And then some jazz music players. And then we have a skinny roll of tape. With just a pretty filigree design. And let's see. All right, we've got a whole nother package of something here. Not sure what I'm about to walk into, but let's open. Of course not. Why would you? Look at the little indents that were purposely put there to hold that thread so it didn't move around in shipment oh my gosh look at this it's a bunch of music paper like from vintage music oh, there's a lot of Christmas in this too oh look at Celine Dion oh my goodness this is a lot of Christmas I think I saw five here's three four I think this is one, six, seven, <laughs> seven sheets of Christmas music. This is perfect. This is perfect because I'm, like I said, I'm already thinking about Christmas. Love this. And again, a whole pack. Perfect for sharing. Okay, now we have got our six by six papers and there's like a shine to this. It feels like it's on sticker paper. I love this Victorian look. Um, it's definitely on sticker paper, it has to be. Yes. I love this sticker paper because then I don't have to use it. He's, ooh, that's sticky. Can you guys hear how st sticky that is? I love these. I love that there's like a shine to them. Can you guys see that shine? Kind of like that. It's like laser printed. 
All right, and the last thing, this was a very heavy kit. I feel like we got quite a bit in this kit. This is like Christmas in August. All right, so they're all the same. Let's bring it in closer so that you guys can see because the lighting is kind of funny with this purple. It's wine related. They're like, are they tickets or? I don't know. They're, so they're stickers for sure. Well, that's cool. Wow, there's so much in this kit. Okay, so let's recap here. Move everything. So we've got all these stickers. Again, plenty to share. And we've got five sheets of sticker collage paper. An entire pack of vintage music. Two rolls of washi. The Edison bulb. The stamps. A, another paper pack right here. This sticker pack. This awesome book. The stickers. A music card. And the very chic letter opener. I'm loving this. This is probably one of my favorite kits. So let's do the thing we always do and test. All right. I love that they're packed in these things because it's reusable and it's not like the cheap like this that always rips right down the side and then they slide out and fall. All right. Okay. Just gonna stamp on the back of this and this is not slick so I don't think it's gonna wipe away. And I like to use my Versafine Claire ink because it's pretty juicy and it's not too dark. Okay. Yep. Perfectly. These are always um, hit or miss. So. I always like to try because you never really know. So I'm just going to grab a random assortment and test them all out for you guys. Oop, little guy didn't go right. So let's just take some of these off because it could be stamper error because I still see the ink on him. So let's just try one more time. Got a little ink on my block, but that's okay. Oh yeah, he's fine. Yay. All right, so now that we know that the stamps are good, that is gonna be really fun to play with. Um, I'm going to just say that these skinny tapes almost never have any adhesive to them. Um, so when I do use them, I always add extra adhesive. This feels like it's a little tackier than the other ones. Um, but you never really know, honestly. So I'm going to put this here. And then check the description box below and I will put, uh, I'm going to leave it sit and see if the edges curl up off of the paper. And if it does, um, then I'll let you guys know in the description box 
below, but I want to test this paper, how it stamps. I've got Hamilton stuck in my head right now, like wicked bad. I was listening to it in the car just now. I just got back from brunch and <laughs> the last song that I heard was Teach Him How to Say Goodbye and I'm just wishing I could sit under my own vine and thick tree right now. <laughs> I'm ready to be retired. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, immediately turn this video off and go watch Hamilton. So I used the not slick side and it seemed to absorb it pretty well. Obviously it bled through really intensely. I'm not sure. I just restamp on this side to see. I've got ink all over my fingers right now. How slick that is to see if it will stamp. Oh, it actually didn't. It's here. So you could definitely stamp on both sides of this paper if you were interested. And that, but I think that's everything that I need to test. Let's peel one of these off and see how truly sticky these are. All right, so I will leave the sticker and the two washies overnight to see if they curl up. Not that it matters because I usually um, tend to put more adhesive on some of these things anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm really digging this kit. I have a girlfriend who um, loves music and can actually play a few different instruments. She's kind of a big deal. Anybody I think that can read and play music is pretty special and important. Not me. I am not one of those people. Something I never learned as a child. I can't get over this. How cool is that? Anyway, we're moving on. Oh no, I just cut my nail. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Very cool. Very heavy kit. I'm loving how much was in this kit. I'm very satisfied with this. I think I'm lost a stamp already. That's all right. All right, guys. Well, that is it for this unboxing video. I think I have done a pretty thorough job of showing you all of the items and testing everything out. Um, like I said, I will leave in the description box to let you know uh, the adhesive on the other items. And that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Bye.